let me first uh, say thanks to our Vietnam veterans. Uh, certainly that thanks is long overdue and I'm happy to bring it to you here today. And I'd like to say thank you to all of our veterans who are here with us today. Um, in addition, I want to have a special thank you to Representative Burowitz because uh, without uh, her agreeing to move this from last week to this week, I wouldn't have been able to be here. And I thank you very much for accommodating my schedule, which at this point was vacation. So, <laughs> And all the rest of these people have much busier schedules and they probably should have been accommodating them rather than me. But thank you very much. I appreciate you including me and in being willing to, to move it a week so that I could be here. Because this was a very special piece of legislation to me. I was really happy to sponsor this. And um, I, I want to make sure to, to give credit to all those who helped make it happen. Uh, certainly the governor signed it, and I want to thank the governor for that. Uh, I want to thank the legislators who, uh, who helped me get it through the legislature, supported it unanimously, got it done. And uh, I want to thank them for that. But uh, just so you all understand, that's kind of the culmination of the process. The, the process actually starts back here in the district. Uh, the idea came to me from some vet Vietnam veterans that we were long overdue in some type of, uh, of uh, recognition for the service that our, our Vietnam veterans had provided. So the idea comes from the constituents, uh, some, some veterans who came and, and spoke to us. Veterans organizations strongly supported it. And then, as we always do, we ask that the uh, municipalities that would host the location of the, uh, of the memorial uh, agree to it as well. So all the local municipalities had to agree to it. And then ultimately the county, and you see your county commissioners are all here today, and I want to thank them for uh, cooperating and, and agreeing to it. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a cooperative effort that brings this type of legislation to pass. And I want to be sure that we thank everybody that was involved. And in reality, that's pretty much everybody in this room. So give yourselves a round of applause for seeing that we got that done. Just a couple uh, other words that I'd like to say. Um, you know, our, our Vietnam veterans, as you've already heard, uh, didn't receive the respect that they deserved when they returned from Vietnam. And um, that was really a, a kind of a sad time in our nation's history when, uh, when they were not only not respected, but in some cases disrespected. And uh, it's my hope that this dedication will serve as a reminder though, to those veterans when they see the signs and they recognize that they're traveling on a highway named in honor of them, that we do respect them and that we are, in essence, apologizing for the treatment that, uh, that they received and acknowledging the support that they, they deserve. So, and we hope that these signs and the dedication that we're doing will remind all our non-veterans that we still owe those Vietnam veterans a debt of support and a debt of thanks. So it's, that's the purpose of, of this. It's to, to remind us that we have an ongoing duty to those veterans to be sure that we provide them the support, the recognition, and the respect that they deserve. So that's why we do these things, and I hope you'll see it that way. And I thank you very much. And once again, I want to thank Representative Burowitz for putting this wonderful uh, event together and uh, thank all my other legislators for helping me get the legislation passed.